Hush me personal voice mask. This is a gift from all of us to you. Does this turn me into Bane? I was born in the darkness. Why did you give Bane a Mickey Mouse voice? That's the only voice you have. Is this a mask where you can have potentially private conversation via Bluetooth, but without people around you seeing it? If you remember, we actually did a product like this very similar, and it was so you could sing karaoke yes. without everyone hearing it. It was the mic it. that had the foams. Oh boy, too many straps. There's never too many straps. That's what Matt, I want in Vegas. I need you to just take it down a notch, please. Take it down. A notch. This looks so weird. This looks if, like if Cy for a Cyclops. <laughs> yeah, but with a, one ear. One ear on the front. <laughs> this is a headset that only Van Gogh could love. Because he's got one yeah, ear. I know, hey! Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. So the headphones are just magnetic to the back. This, while hideous, stupid, and ridiculous, I'm actually like not the worst uh, person to try this. I spend a fair bit of my days on phone calls, and I'm always having to like walk around so that Jared doesn't hear about Jared 2.0 and he gets all like upset and cries or whatever. Um, but if I had this on, I wouldn't have to worry about anyone's feelings. So there's mask and there's headset. What? What? I don't even, I don't even get it. Oh wow. It, that, it works. I don't think I got it right. This does not seem like the optimal way to hush me. Man, I thought you were the strap master. Are you a little out uh, of practice? My, my straps are a little bit more uh, professional. Oh, we got these bad boys. I don't like this. This is highly sus. You trying to say I look like Goofy? I gotta say, <laughs> my breathing is not great in this. It almost kind of like covers my nose a little bit. It's hush me time. So I am going to talk a little bit right now with the hush me on. And you can be the judge of what this sounds like. You have headphones on. And that seems sus. Matt looks great today, and the Ken has a fresh cut. And honestly, it's looking pretty fly. Is it just me or does it make him look like he has like a big old thick mustache? It does. How much can you guys hear? A lot of it. Oh. But I won't hear you from the next room now. I was speaking relatively loudly. Let's actually hear what that sounds like. This is the last time you'll ever hear my What? Voice this is way clearer than what we heard. Oh wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh... Can you present the next item of mystery attack? Kind of heavy, all right. A nondescript brown box, exactly what I'd like to see, out of the, oh uh, Jesus. The X-Back Tri-Screen 2. So we did this once before. Yeah, yeah. But it was, it was not good. Yeah, and it was adhesive. I mean, it was one extra screen, not two. This is pretty much specifically for MacBook. How much is the X-Back? <laughs> remember, remember we had that conversation about up in the budget for mystery techs? The problem is this is dumb. We paid $300 for the other one. It was 500 bucks. I'm immediately upset. This thing is gonna suck. These things always suck. All right, packaging, we'll give them is cool. We'll say, it's chunky boy, but all right, all right. It's got multiple screens. I just, 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 just fine. So as someone who does use a MacBook as my primary system, right? I dock when I'm at work, I dock it sometimes when I'm at home. I can see a scenario in which I'm editing on two screens and I've got a third screen to watch. I'm curious, uh, these are quite small screens. So this for reference is a 14 inch MacBook Pro. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> uh, There's a kickstand. Is there a kickstand? Okay, oh yeah, you're right, all right, all right. So uh, I will say from the front, you can see, it literally just sort of attaches, right? So you just kind of extend it, line it up with the top edge, and then it attaches, and it attaches to the top. So you don't have to worry about the bottom, so theoretically that would be fairly close to universal. So immediately, way better design than the earlier version of this from the other company that we tried. Okay, so both are out, and I can, the hinges have some play, but they're not too bad. So plugging one end to the MacBook. Oh, x back is firing up. MacBook sees it, and there we go. Okay, so it immediately works. So hang on, let me plug the other one in. And I've got three screens on my MacBook. Now one thing you would definitely need to keep in mind is if you're running three screens on your computer, these screens are pulling power from your laptop, right? So I can see a scenario in which this is going to significantly hurt your battery. So you probably want to be using this plugged in, but realistically, if you're a weirdo who's pulling out three screens in a coffee shop, you probably have a power adapter with you anyway. I'll say this works pretty well. And supposedly, so each of these displays has two USB-C and an HDMI per. So theoretically, if I plug in a power adapter into the screen, it will charge the laptop which they say is in case you don't have enough extra USB-Cs. The problem is so few laptops actually support 
two USB-Cs with video. Like honestly, it is a lot more limited than you might think, which is one of the reasons why I really hesitate. My big question here is not so much that this work, because we can see it works. My bigger question is, how easily portable is this? Boom, boom, you close it, boom, and then take it on the, oh, I don't like that. It doesn't close. It's actually hitting the laptop. Yeah, because it's, it's got a little thing. So uh, you yeah. never want to want to leave this on. This is like 85% there. Especially if you got like a MacBook or something, you can just plug your iPad in and get a second screen. It's oh, much, yeah. much easier. <laughs> you could have like your iPad on the side, either wirelessly or connected via USB-C. That's the same price, and you get two screens for this one. And yeah, one but an iPad actually, actually works. It actually has an OS on it. Ah, the outdoors. What a lovely place to appreciate what's really important in life. Gaming portably, thanks to the power of today's sponsor, the EcoFlow Delta 2. A one kilowatt hour battery. <laughs> I never need to touch grass again. With up to 225 watts from our solar panel over here, you can juice this up from anywhere. However, the EcoFlow also allows you to extremely quickly recharge it when you're at home using their Xtreme technology by going from 10 to 80% in less than an hour. With up to 1800 watts of power, this is enough not only to easily run my gaming setup, but realistically with the Delta 2, this is enough to power pretty much any kind of appliance that you would plug into a normal household outlet. Actually, we're still charging technically because the PC running with the monitor is about 70, 80, watts we're pulling 100 watts with joanna in front of my solar panel okay. excuse me my solar efficiency is very important there we go now i'm plus 100 watts charging while i run my gaming pc thanks to the lithium iron phosphate battery the delta 2 will last a very long time you can go from 100 to zero every single day for 10 years and the battery will still hold up and if one kilowatt hour isn't enough for you you can expand this all the way up to three kilowatts aka a bigger battery than a lot of hybrid cars have. And using the EcoFlow app, you can also remotely manage everything, including taking a look at how much power is being generated by your solar panel, and of course being exhausted out through your very mini AC ports. Now you might see these ridiculous specs and think, that's gotta weigh 100 pounds. Well, no, in fact, it weighs only 27, which means that especially with the built-in handles, it's actually really quite portable. With the EcoFlow Delta 2, what you're getting here is an incredibly powerful battery solution for pretty much anything you want to throw at it. Whether you're gaming in the park, camping for a weekend, or you just want to have a little bit of peace of mind knowing that you can go off the grid, definitely be sure to go check out the EcoFlow Delta 2 with the link in the description. And thank you very much to EcoFlow for sponsoring this episode of Mystery Tech. You know this is gonna be a good segment of Mystery Tech when RoboRaptor's out here. Next item, please, caught the Mighty Mug. That Mighty Mug has been in the sink for about four years. Who in this room is familiar with the Mighty Mug? Uh, there's we, a huge we, we all watch Lou's video yeah. on this. It is literally one of my favorite unbox therapy videos of all time. The moment that I first saw this was absolutely incredible. And the fact that that Lou video, when he's just like, are you kidding me? What? What? Was one of the great YouTube tech moments in history. Ken Wait, Kenzie, are you familiar with this? No, I'm I'm new to the unbox. Would you like to come and experience what, unbox this, dude? Okay, <laughs> the unbox dude. Okay, take a look at this mug. It's not. I feel like I'm like presenting a magic trick right now. Regular mug. You see that little like kind of rubber bit on the bottom, right? Whack it. <laughs> well, 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 uh, well, you you push. You didn't whack. So imagine this. You're like sitting there drinking your coffee. Okay, that's a bad no! example. You broke well, the mighty mug. Ah, da 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 da. Da 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 da. It works. Wait, no. I feel also, like that though, right? you gotta hit it once and let it resettle a little bit. Because if you hit it a second yeah, time, yeah, it goes flying. You're gonna reenact Lou's video that I haven't seen. Yeah, yeah. We're, gonna... Gonna, we're gonna we're gonna coach you. We're gonna teach you how to okay. do this. Okay. Okay. You're just gonna do a lot of what? What? No. Like, but more like. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but whoa, now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You, you, you. What? Oh, oh, is that, is that how, is that how he does it? You're basically it? Lou. To really properly do this, this should be full of like some sort of like mystery liquid. Well, why does it have to be a mystery uh -huh. liquid? Thank you for letting me experience the Mighty Mug. It's a relic of the past. <gasps> Did you just drop this on the table? Is it still PSA 10? Now it's a PSA 8. I have never ever opened these before. But these are Topps Formula One cards. Now, I'd say about half the people in this room right now are pretty big Formula One fans. Hmm. The other half is Matt, and he's not cool. H how am I weighted 50% of this room right now? What are you trying to imply there? This is not a cheap box. How much did this box cost? Uh, I believe that was $350? Something like that, yes. All right, the seal has been broken, friends. Now you're gonna be going to the bathroom all night. All right, I have the odds. A foil refractor card is one in 11,000. 
Oh my god. Um, another one's one in 25,000. These odds are ridiculous. They're slightly better than me getting a girlfriend. Married or not married? <laughs> All right, let's go for our one in 20,000. We're gonna get rich today, boys. I can feel it. We've got ourselves. Richard Vershore, Matteo Nanini. What? Wait, what? That just sounds like someone's forgetting how to say my name. We're gonna get something today. Corner so this right is a here. one of one. So you oh. just pulled a one of one. One of one! Oh. Oh. Kimmy, oh. one of one! Retirement season. Yo. Let's go! Does that mean I get a bonus today? Oh. Careful, careful, careful! I'm looking! Don't breathe too hard on it! So you think that card paid for the whole box? Probably, yeah. I mean, it's one of one, right? Shoot! Good so thing I get a $10,000 bonus today. I called dibs on this one. I... What one? There's no item! Okay, he, you can tell that Ken cares because he's actually walking it over. Are these Sanrio Hello Kitty yes. Razor collabs? I'm about it. Let's go! All right, so we've got the Razor Kraken BT Hello Kitty and Friends Edition. And then we've got the Razor Goliath Mouse Mat and Death Adder Essential. That is a mouthful. I literally know none of these except for Hello Kitty. Cinnamon Roll! Oh wait, what's the, what's the, little, the grumpy dude on the side? Matt. <laughs> this is the Death Adder Essential, which I know is their lower end mouse. In fact, I think this is actually what the Pikachu mouse that we looked at was based on. It's fine. I think I'm a little bit more excited for the headset. Well, I'm looking forward to this screenshot being on the internet for the rest of the time. Behold, my friends, the Hello Kitty headset. Oh, let's go. Hello, Austin. Why are you talking to yourself? Hey, girls, this is Austin. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds a little sus, but I like it. Wait. Mm. Mm. Wait. What? Stop what, the show. What? 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 Stop the show. It's micro USB, isn't it's it? It's micro USB. No! Micro USB. They spit directly on our faces. Right? Oh, let's go. So you know, you know what the issue that I have with this is? They use the base of the Kraken Kitty because the ears look the same, but it's like a like a molded version of it. And so I think they also compromise the inner lining this, this a little bit. So it's like hard. Yeah. The voice is the word. It's literally like Bluetooth is connected. It's not even Hello Kitty being like Bluetooth. Oh, yay! No, no I, I Bluetooth. Always... I'm gonna watch episode seven of Hello Kitty and Friends Super Cute Adventure. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, no one can hear what I'm hearing right now. That's kind of awkward, isn't it? I'll call them cinema rolls. These don't sound good. <laughs> I think the design of these headphones has actively made them out. worse headphones. The mouse pad I'll take. The, the I don't even want the mouse. I just kind of want the mouse pad. 